Hello, I'm going to run through the April setup in my recollections planner. I'm using this cute um, Easter egg washi tape. I have a couple samplers, one from Green Tea, Green Tea Design Company. These were from the Wine and Plan event in October. I'm going again this month, so I'm going to use the samplers. And then from Sweet Tea Plans, it's the little girls drinking wine and stuff, so I thought they'd be appropriate. This is just a little, I hand lettered this on sticker paper to put it in for my Wine and Plan weekend. And these are from um, Pink Pixel Graphics. It's the Wacky Holidays. I print them out, I cut them, I put the dates on the back, that way I know when to put them in. And I always peel up the edge because they're so hard. And then from Nash's Printwork, I have my April, my monthly date covers. I have the Easter egg daily date covers, and I have the birthday stickers because my girl has a birthday this month. So we'll go ahead and get started. It should be a fairly quick spread. I just like to get the color on there. And I do buy, you know, all my stuff for the Erin Condren planner, even though I need use a recollections, because it is really close to fitting perfectly. So they work. Because I'm sure there are stores out there that make stickers specifically for the recollections planner. I guess I just haven't taken the time, <clears throat> excuse me, the time to look for them. So we'll get that up there. And then we'll use the washi down here on the extra days that aren't covered. No, that is uh, May. It's because I like to fill in the space. And I like color. So that's why I usually go with like the washi tapes and stuff. Mm, they're not going to line up, but that's okay. I usually try to get like a wider washi tape for down here. That'll cover up most of it. And the yellow still works with the date cover there. So we'll put this on. Oops. So I've actually got a little bit of stuff going on this month. So there's the washi. So now we'll put the date covers on. And April 1st is April Fool's Day and Easter. And I just kind of randomly peel these off and stick them there. I don't have a like a system for peeling them off. Just kind of whichever ones my hands hit first. Because this month I go to a meetup. I'm hosting a meetup. I have my regular monthly meetup. It's just a busy month.
So that's why I didn't get as many like extra stickers. Because like I said, it is a little bit busier this month. Plenty of stuff to write in. So you gotta make sure you got room to write it. And Nash's Printworks has these um, date stickers in a smaller format. So if I order them next year, I'll probably go with the little bit smaller ones. I do like the stickers. They're always night bright and a uh, nice, bright and colorful. They're always well cut and good quality. And I, I like that I was able to order, you know, all the date covers and everything for the whole year. That made it real nice. That way I don't have to worry every month if I have date covers and everything. I just gotta get them out and stick them down. So that's nice. And every month kind of had like a different theme. Alrighty, so there's all my dates on. I do have a few little blank Easter eggs. So I'll probably put one over here on my little list. And then just to change stuff up, I'll probably just kind of put a few down here, kind of laying a little crooked. Because most Easter eggs you find are not going to be standing up. So I'll put this there. So there's all the dates. And then even though my daughter doesn't like pink, I do. So she will be 20 on the 10th. So I'll put in her birthday. And then my wine and plan weekend is this weekend here, the 20th, 21st, and 29th. But I am going, I'm leaving the 19th and coming home the Sunday. So that'll fit right in there. So let's go ahead and do our wacky holidays. And then we'll fill everything in. So Save the Frogs Day is the 28th. The 20th, we have Chinese Language Day. Looks like the 9th, we have Unicorn Day. Hmm. Sounds like a fun day. The 10th, which is my daughter's birthday, is International Safety Pen Day, too. The 26th is Huggin' Australian Day. The 3rd is Find a Rainbow Day. <clears throat> the 18th is Pinata Day. My kids always liked pinatas when they were little. The 16th is Wear Your PJs to Work Day. Uh, I work in a factory, so I don't think we'll be wearing pajamas to work. <laughs> the 23rd is Talk Like Shakespeare Day. Peanut Butter and Jelly Day is the 2nd. I prefer peanut butter and sugar sandwiches. They used to give them to us in school. The 5th is Read a Roadmap Day. I don't think most people use roadmaps anymore with GPS's. The 13th is Scrabble Day. April 1st is One Cent Day, along with April Fools and Easter. The 7th is Beaver Day. <laughs> the 11th is Pet Day. Carrot 
day is the fourth. T day is the 21st. I don't drink a whole lot of tea. The 22nd is jelly bean day. A lot of people will have jelly beans the first. The 25th is World Stationery Day. And I do like stationery. And the 29th is World Wish Day. So there's all of those. Alright, so we'll do a little bit of decorating. And then I'll put my little pin stuff in. So I'm going to use Smitten with the Mitten because I make my trip the 19th. And I'll use this little wine bottle. And I will be coming home this day. And we're doing planner stuff. It's also Earth Day. Get a cute little windmill. So I'll put it on here. Alright, so I'll use those. Now we've got the girl planning. So we'll put her on here. I'm also going to use her on the 14th because I've got a meet up. And then the ninth, I have another meetup, so use them there. I'll save the cleaning girls for other stuff. Put the little wine drinking girl right here, because uh, that Saturday we'll do like wine tours. So I'll put them there, and I think that is my monthly spread for the month of April. So I will fill in other stuff as the month goes along, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.